everybody, what's up? Welcome back to City Skylines. It's been a while uh, since I last posted a video, uh, and I do apologize for that. But then again, it's also been a while since you last saw this city. Uh, as you can probably tell, there has been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of expansion. I'm pretty sure in the last video I had, everything north of this uh, avenue didn't exist. So I basically doubled the size of the city off camera. But I did not do that uh, off camera on purpose. I actually did try to record an episode, uh, but I didn't like it. It was boring, uh, not a lot got done, uh, so in the time between that last time that I tried to record and now, I got the Metro Overhaul mod, and I replaced the elevated rail that went through the city uh, with the elevated Metro. And it does look a lot better. Sadly, my little roundabout that was over here has been demolished because there are not any uh, any single rails so just at a standard T intersection um, and as you can see I also use the different types of the, uh, the metro track so we have the steel and the concrete over there uh, I'm assuming the concrete was um, you know added afterwards um, but uh, I extended the metro line cuts all the way through here through the industry I built this little loop area that goes down between the tracks. I really like that. Expanded a lot of industry and, of course, the city in general. And I also added this. I thought it was interesting. Uh, before, this avenue used to terminate right here. And this would come into an avenue and terminate over here. And I thought, why not just connect them? It's surrounded with trees, and now it's a little, small little parkway or something. I don't know. Uh, but what I do know is that I think I have expanded north enough for now. My main project as of today is going to be working on the downtown area. Oh, and I should also say that I added this, uh, what is this, the metro terminal? I think that's what it would be called. That's where uh, all the metros, they like, they'd get parked here and uh, have maintenance work done on them. If there was a metro prop, like there are trains, I would have probably filled up all these rails with them, but unfortunately I didn't find any. Um, oh, and I also put a little, little construction zone over here. How about that? Uh, but like I said before, uh, in this episode, we will be working on the downtown area. And I've already sort of mapped out a little bit where that'll go. So I have some avenues over here where they cross. And this whole avenue over here lined with the, uh, the maple trees. That is going to be the uh, one side of the downtown. And this monument that you can see here... I forgot what it was called. Let me see really quick. I think I can find it. Maybe not. I don't know. Hopefully I can. Uh, I just realized that I have a lot of buildings, so... Oh, here it is. The Spinnaker Tower of Portsmouth. So, that's what I have there. That's going to be the centerpiece. So... I'm going to put another one of these avenues uh, coming down this way. And there'll be a large central park in the middle that'll have a highway actually run through it. So this part of the highway is going to be extended, probably head down to the power plant because uh, I'm actually battling a big problem of um, not enough workers. Um, it's an issue that I'm trying to fix. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. 
Uh, so I've already created a T intersection here for the uh, the highway to be extended in that direction, and I'll add another T intersection for the highway to come over here and terminate on this avenue, I presume. Uh, and that will be that. So let's get to work, shall we? Let's see. It's three lanes. Now I could have this uh, highway come straight down in this direction and not curve it. But I feel like a direct route to the power plant would be um, more... Uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm trying to think of? Smart? I don't know. More smart. Genius. So if I could actually get it... Hold up. If I could get it to go perpendicular to this road, that would be fantastic. So let's see. Let us see. go. Now let's get... Now one thing that I did do with the highway uh, is that I put the, uh, what is it, the, the wall? They are actually touching each other. They're not like one space away, like, uh, like this. The highways are actually touching each other and they share a single median, which, um, I'm not sure if I should continue that, because then it, it offsets the grid. But then again, nah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's my city. It's my city. I can do what I want. I'm going to have to turn snapping off, of course. There. Let's try and line up these uh these pillars. Well, this is gonna be a challenge. That's not good. Oh my god, that was perfect. Alright. So now that I have the highway curving in this direction, let me take out this road. Should also turn prop anarchy off. Uh, let's see. Two hundred units. Right there. Perfect. Alright, now all I have to do is fix the direction of this highway. For this whole stretch. Like that. Okay, good. 
That's also fixed? Yes. Alright, so... Now... The next battle that we must face... Is connecting the highway so that it goes... Right down through the downtown area. But, before I can do any of that... I want to... Let's see... I want to make sure that I get this right the first time. Uh, because my spacing uh, for the... What is it? I want to have a park on either side of the highway. So I want to get that spacing down. And actually, I think I centered this pretty decently. So if I base it off this... It should work fine, no? One more over. Just like that. Right? Yes. So this would be the central park that I'm dealing with. That big. Um, I think that's actually a good size. How many units is that? 29. Yeah, that's... That's a great size. Okay. So now that we have that, let's get back to the highway. Now, is the highway going to be sunken or not? Is the next question. And I think, yes, it should be, so we could have roads pass over it. Alright.
Alrighty, so we have finished uh, developing majority of the downtown area uh, for the city of Lawrence. Um, I stopped recording uh, a little while ago, and you didn't get to see me do some fine detailing or uh, putting down uh, all these trees and paths and uh, even these bridges, I'm pretty sure. But, um, I just didn't want to, uh, I guess, bore you. Uh, it was really painstaking. It took actually a few hours just to, like, get everything down to the nitty gritty. Um, for some reason, these parks spawn seagulls, so that's annoying. Uh,. I'm gonna see if I can try and fix that. But, um, yeah, so all these walls going along the highway uh, are busy spawning seagulls, so all I hear is squawking. But aside from that, holy moly, look at this. This is downtown uh, Lawrence. Um, and if the textures look weird, it's because I lowered the, uh, the LOD. So like when I zoom out of this building, it looks really weird. I lowered the LOD so I could at least get a, a decent frame rate with all these uh, trees and cars and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I I am blown away by my own work. Like just the trees and the paths. And the highway in the middle, as even though it's all concrete, it just looks really nice. Um, of course, this will all eventually be filled in better. And right now, I just have some education and hospitals and whatnot along over there um, because uh, the buildings were complaining that uh, they didn't have enough access to services and whatnot. And they were going to be abandoned, so... Uh, that's just temporary at the moment, but um, the detail that I put in here uh, is pretty Pretty nice like down here. I have this little central park area between these two uh, I don't want to call them projects, but I don't know if that would be a term um, Some just like boxes and stuff back here putting some trees in over here more trees over here making everything look so um, not so I'm sorry make everything look not so concrete we have the metro station over here these uh, tufts of my flowers have disappeared I'm not gonna worry about that right now I'll worry about that off camera again. Right now I'm showcasing what I've done. Got a park there. A lot of buildings. This building in particular, right here in the middle. Um, not a lot of detailing. I want this to be like an open grass area. Um, this side got messed up when I put the metro in. And the metro actually just went in like just before I started recording because the traffic here was absolutely awful. I mean, it was backed up. This entire highway was backed up. Um, so I fixed that. Um, these uh, apartment complexes that vary in height, I really like the way I put that down. Along with these uh, autumn uh, maple trees. Now, I know that every other tree uh, in the city is, you know, green, but for some reason I just thought that these look really nice. I mean, I, they just really accent the. Uh, the orange that comes with the building. Um, surprisingly, nothing has been built here, despite I actually zoned this area. Nothing's being built there, so that's weird. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's really it uh, for the downtown. Oh, uh, ignore, <laughs> ignore this. This was to alleviate traffic. Um, this is eventually going to be either a clover leaf or a turbine interchange. I'm thinking of doing the turbine because those, I mean, why not? 
it's a turbine. But um, it's just a really, really, really crappy uh, T intersection. It's not even complete. Oh, nothing's gonna go over there. But uh, this was just to get cars from uh, this side of town onto the highway, rather than all clogging up this uh, avenue over here. And it was really bad. Um, but uh, that seems to have been resolved. The metro line uh, does connect with the elevated rail over here, where it passes under the highway, and it also connects with a station, um, this station over here. And in fact, my metro line is doing so well that it actually backed up the tracks, right? Is this the, I think this is one. And also, the Metro was not the finest. It was quite, um, oh, well, that was the wrong one. It's quite crude. Like, it just kind of, oh, hello. Just kind of enters and exits right here by the highway. And, like, just curves around and loops around in the city. Um, so I might get that fixed later on in the future. But, uh, as for this episode of City Skylines. I am going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a uh, I really enjoy the outcome that we came uh, that we came. I don't I don't even know what I'm saying. I really enjoy the outcome. I really enjoy uh, this city. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys uh, in the next video. Take care.